Since day two of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in Uzbekistan, PM Modi addressed the summit saying India is already a startup hub with over 70,000 startups and 300 unicorns and now it has gone on to become a manufacturing hub. World leaders also shared stage for a photo op during which PM Modi, along with Chinese President Xi Jinping, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Pakistan PM Shahbaz Sharif came under the same roof. PM Modi also met Turkish President Erdogan on the lines of the SEO summit. All eyes are on the crucial bilateral meeting between PM Modi and Russian President Vladimir Putin. There is no confirmation, however, over PM's possible meeting with uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping. <laughs> महामारी के बाद आर्थिक रिकवरी की चुनौतियों का सामना कर रहा है एसयू की भूमिका बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है महामारी और यूक्रेन के संकट से ग्लोबल सप्लाई चेन्स में कई बाधाएं उत्पन्न हुई जिसके कारण पूरा विश्व अभूतपूर्व ऊर्जा एवं खाद्य संकट का सामना कर रहा है भारत को एक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हब बनाने पर प्रगति कर रहे हैं भारत की अर्थव्यवस्था में सेवेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव प्रतिशत वृद्धि की आशा है जो विश्व की बड़ी इकोनॉमीज में सबसे अधिक होगी go across to Srinjoy Chaudhary joining us live. Srinjoy, uh, this is of course an important occasion that we are looking at where Prime Minister made an address at the SCO summit. All that uh, speculation over whether the PM will meet Xi Jinping still quite rife. What do we know so far of the agenda from here on? Well, right now, um, Prime Minister Modi and Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, will be meeting. And we have an idea of what's going to happen in the meeting. First of all, the Russians are looking at offering India, uh, in the wake of this war in the Ukraine, uh, food grain and uh, lots and lots of fertilizers. That's what we are hearing right now. Okay. We also know that the two sides uh, want to cooperate closely uh, in the UN, in the SCO, as and particularly so because the SEO conference is going on in the G20, which is in uh, Indonesia later this year in November, and in other multilateral fora like BRICS. This is something the two countries want to work on. Naturally, the issue of Indo-Pacific will come up. Indo-Pacific, of course, is an euphemism for China, and that issue will certainly come up. We also know that the Ukraine crisis issue will also come up. These are two major international uh, problems that will be discussed. As far as India's position is concerned, India has already told Russia to end the war and begin diplomatic dialogue. The same, uh, same point could well be repeated this time. But the economic issues will also come up, as I mentioned. Issues that relate to fertilizer and uh, food grain will come up. Both the prices of both have gone up primarily because of the war in the Ukraine, because between Ukraine and Russia, they produce about 12 percent of all the calories the world consumes. So naturally, if there is a blockage in not only production, but also distribution of grain and so on, that creates a problem. So that issue will come up, food grain and fertilizer, both will come up and will be raised by Mr. Putin is what we are hearing. Besides that, of course, all these areas. After that, there are two other big meetings. The first will be with the Uzbek president and then with the Iranian president. Now, as far as Iran is concerned, if India is looking at connectivity towards Central Asia, with Central Asia, what is the alternative? Pakistan is not going to allow anything. So. Iran becomes crucial, and that is an issue that could well come up during the meeting. As yes. far as Xi Jinping is concerned, well, and the agenda does not have it, but even if the agenda does not have it, the official meeting may not happen. But nevertheless, there could be an a informal meeting, there could be a pull aside, there could be a quiet discussion. Anything is possible or has happened in these hours because 
there, will, there was the first part of the SEO summit was a private meeting. Very few people were with the lead, eight leaders. And after that was a little more open. Nevertheless, anything, if people have come all the way to, uh, to Samarkand from yes. China and India, and this issue of PP15 has got worked out, it is, of course, understandable and it's plausible if the two sides meet. Whether it's a short meeting, whether it's an informal meeting, that could well happen. As far as Shabazz Sharif is concerned, India doesn't have much keenness about, uh, about any kind of discussions with Pakistan. If they come face to face, I, what I've, I've heard is Prime Minister, of course, will commiserate uh, with Shabazz Sharif about the floods in Pakistan and the deaths of about 1,300 people. But beyond that, uh, it's unlikely, though again, with Pakistan and India, you can never say anything. Nevertheless, we wait to hear from the Indian government and perhaps also the Chinese if there were, uh, if there were any kind of meetings with Xi Jinping yes. and what kind of meetings there were and if there were any discussions at all.